Hello, and here we are inside an Igloo immersive projection room. This is a, a collaborative meeting space that we've developed that's designed to fit within existing spaces for the for corporate work. So this room is an average sort of size of meeting room or conference room that's available in thousands of properties worldwide. And what this is enables us with this system is to take our Igloo 360 technology and take it outside of our domes and cylinders and put it into a more usable space for people. Currently we're running a system in here with four 4K projectors in set in full 360, so the content is everywhere. Um, and today we're showing specifically the use case of Matterport, which is a uh, content delivery system that was developed many years ago, initially for property retail market, but has actually been expanded into lots of other industries. Content we're featuring at the moment is engineering content, so this has been developed from uh, a load of Matt Matterport scans that have been used inside buildings. They can do it indoors and outwards, and as the Matterport progresses through the building, it takes a whole series of 360 video shots, think Google Earth for buildings, and at the same time it generates a photogrammetry model of the structure as well. So these are very, very accurate models, even down to levels where you could, could take measurements from these pictures. So here we are using this on our iPad interface and I can actually navigate through this space. So if I click down this corridor here, we walk within the space. But alternatively I can also control this from my phone. So using Igloo Home, which is our default interaction device for, for Igloo, I can actually select my Igloo Touch application, which is this one here. I can click my phone tab and this gives me a cursor that appears on the screen so as I click on the floor here I will navigate through the picture. I can even jump across the, to the other side of the room. Let's walk across here and this takes us into another area within the building. Now you might be noticing there's these little tabs and icons popping up and these are actually further information tabs. So this is, this is actually giving us metadata behind the model and it tells you details about what the building is. So as these models are generated people can go through and tag the models and even retrospectively go back into the model, notice faults, add, annotate the drawings and um, that then updates onto the web server. There we go, navigating through here. And this is fantastic for situational awareness and safety training, or even if it's just a case of documenting existing assets to have a live database of the state of the properties. Now I'm going to go back to the favourites within my, my iPad. I click on my favourites tab and have a look at some other buildings. Here's another very mecha mechanical engineering space. So this is a part, large mechanical plant room and again it has been scanned with Matterport and I can walk around within the space. Also can generate a floor plan again. So here we are generating a floor plan of the building. So this takes the photogrammetry model and d builds this floor plan. And then it's decided there's two floors here. I can click on the second floor. And let's go up onto this area here. If I click on that, it updates it on the iPad. And here we are, we've moved into that space. So that gives that additional way of navigating within the environment. So that gives you a brief overview of the uh, use cases for Matterport and Igloo in an engineering setting.